Hello guys, welcome back to another more LB video. This is the second channel. Make sure you subscribe, smash a like on it. Congratulations to Rico Lewis, who has today received his first ever full senior international call-up to the England setup. Gareth Southgate proving that he's not a complete idiot and um, calling up Rico Lewis. This is the updated squad. Sam Johnson, Pickford, Ramsdale in goal. I'll talk about that in a minute because I have a controversial opinion on that. Uh, defenders, Levi Colwell, Mark Way, er Erzy Konsa, Rico Lewis, Harry Maguire, uh, Tomori's there, Trippier's there, as well as Kyle Walker midfield, John Alexander-Arnold, Bellingham, Gallagher, Henderson Palmer, also getting a late call-up as well, Cole Palmer. Uh, Calvin Phillips is still in there, despite never really playing, as well as Declan Rice. And as the forwards, Jared Bowen, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, Harry Kane, Marcus Rafford, and Bakayo Saka, Ollie Watkins. But let's speak on Rico Lewis. I mean, he broke through last season. Incredible sort of scenes, really, as City were going through turmoil. If you think about going back to the 2022-2023 season, we was in the mud, really. You know, we were not playing well. Um, you had Pep Guardiola calling out football players at the football club saying these are not my players and the only player really that was going in there and performing to a real high standard was Rico Lewis and this season he's continued where he left off last year I think obviously now we're starting to see in recent times we've seen the game against Arsenal Rico Lewis started the match that Pep Guardiola is not afraid to send Rico Lewis into the deep end and play him in the big, big games and Rico Lewis has delivered. He was great that day against Arsenal. He was really, really good. And now Gareth Southgate has decided to call Rico Lewis up to the first senior team. And I'd love to see Rico Lewis get some minutes for England. Now, there is one condition. I believe that Rico Lewis is not a right-back anymore. I don't believe he's a right-back. I don't think at this moment in time he has the physicality or the strength, which I guess is the same thing, really. I think he's a midfielder. And I want to see if he does get played, because obviously he might not get any minutes. Who knows? He might just be there to be integrated into the camp. If he does play for England in the two games against Ma uh, Macedonia or Malta, I'd love to see him be played in that midfield position like he's been doing for Manchester City. Now, a couple of you guys might say, yeah, but LB might play right-back and invert into midfield. I just don't think that's correct because if you've seen last year, we had we had a lot of problems with that last year. As good as Rico Lewis did, you know, that, that right back inverted thing, it's it, I don't particularly think it's actually a great system because your, your defensive line is completely skewed. If you think back to the Everton game last year, which you drew 1-1, I know Demari Gray put one into the top corner, but the reason he got the shot off, the reason he was able to, 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 to have the shot on target was because the defence was completely skewed Inverting centre-backs into midfield is fine. It's a different situation. You're just going forward, you know, and then you just squeeze up a little bit as your defensive unit. When it's the right-back, not really a, a massive fan. Now, having said that, listen, if Rico Lewis plays right-back for England, you know, I'm going to be buzzing for him, of course, and he's going to be buzzing. I just personally believe that going forward, he is a midfielder, not a right-back. But that is massive, massive congratulations to Rico Lewis. I'm pretty sure every single one of you will be buzzing about that. Make sure you drop a like on the video. I want to speak about the goalkeeping situation just a little bit. For me, this is a really interesting one, right? Because I always, I've said for some time now that Aaron Ramsdale should be England's number one goalkeeper, not Jordan Pickford. But now Aaron Ramsdale's not playing. So this becomes really difficult because can I back um, Aaron Ramsdale to be England's number one goalkeeper when he doesn't play for Arsenal anymore? When I'm saying that Jordan Henderson, who's played in Saudi Arabia, Calvin Phillips, who doesn't play for Manchester City, shouldn't be in the squads. It'd be a little bit, what's the word? Uh, hypocritical of me to sit here and still say Aaron Ramsdale should be England's number one when he's not playing. So for me, I do think that probably Jordan Pickford is the best option right now. Sam Johnson's doing a decent job at Palace as well, to be fair. Don't sleep on him. But I think Jordan Pickford, because he's playing and Aaron Ramsdale's not playing, I think he's going to keep that number one spot. Aaron Ramsdale, if he wants to get that number one spot for England, off of Jordan Pickford, he's going to have to make a move. And obviously, with the Euros coming up in the summer, is Aaron Ramsdale going to have to get that transfer done this January? He's, you know, you can you can say whatever you want about, oh, he's happy with the competition. It's good for Arsenal. BS. Aaron Ramsdale is not happy sitting on the bench. And if he is, then I'm sorry. The guy's that, that, that not a top mentality footballer. He needs to get himself out of Arsenal. And he needs to get himself a move to the top club so he can push for that number one spot because I, I think he's better than Pickford personally. I mean, I'm interested to hear your views on that one because I know that splits opinions. I know not everyone's going to agree with me on that one. Who should be England's number one? 
Comment down below. And where do you see Rico Lewis's future? One for City and two in the short term. In these two matches coming up for England, do you think Southgate is going to play him in midfield? Or do you think it will be right back? And if it is right back, will it be inverted? Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash a like on this video. More LB road to 500 subscribers starts right now. Hopefully you, enjoy, you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, leave your comments down below.